Hey guys, so we are up here at the hangar with Kitbox 1000 right now, and we are testing the fabric on the wings. And how this is supposed to work, it's supposed to have an eighth inch round rod, 40 pounds of pressure, and if it breaks through, then the fabric's no good. And we're we're going to open this wing up regardless because of the flap on attachment. We just put it up here, and, and you know, it's... There's the paint. The paint neatly goes, and, and it's... That's not 40 pounds. Like, like try tearing that fabric, so see how easy it tears. Can you come up here and put this? So, so it not only went, but when you go, I mean, it's literally just by hand. Super uh, not okay. Yeah, no way. So that's even the seam right there, and that should have Yeah, that stopped. seam, the, the tape should have stopped it. Yep, well, all the stuff is coming off. Okay, so we just got this wing completely uncovered here, and we found a couple surprises. First of all, this rib is broken, and what we think happened is probably that this Peter tube was like this, and it got hit by something. You can see here when you push on that, that wiggles that like that. We definitely know we did not just do that. And the second thing is this odd little strobe. Is there even a light bulb in there? No, they're just like, I know what they did now. I bet that instead of wiring up a proper strobe light thing to make this wing light blink, they took the LED, they took the bulb out of this and wired it directly to that bulb and used this as the blinker. Yep, yep, they used that as electronics to the strobe. So yeah, I gotta head off to work here pretty soon, so we're just gonna start cleaning up here, get this mess picked up and yeah we're definitely not regretting pulling this fabric off these wings for even one second because we know now that we can make this better and stronger um, let me show you the other side so this is the side where the flapper on broke off and yeah so here's here's where the flapper on braces broke off all right so unfortunately, the camera battery died at the airport, so I'm having to filming this. I'm so I'm having to film this ending here. But what I am happy to say is that the wings are completely stripped. We're getting geared up right now and working out a deal possibly with a guy to get some Stewart Systems fabric and to completely recover the wings on Kitvox 1000. Uh, I'm really looking into the Stewart Systems process just because it looks like it's going to be a method that's going to use um, less toxic chemicals and um, it would be just an overall easier process. I like the, I've been watching a couple of their videos. I like the fact that you can uh, kind of stick the fabric down on the tacky glue and then move it as you need it and then iron it down flat. Um, Steve Renfro sent me that iron and the fabric. Um, I'm gonna start testing out with that. He sent me some glue, basically a, a, a starter kit, just enough to start um, doing some small projects on the plane. I'm gonna start doing that uh, hopefully sometime within the next week or so here. Kind of playing around with that, seeing how that goes, um, testing that out, going according to the Stewart Systems videos. Um, thank you so much, Steve, for sending that again. Um, on that, on those grounds, I did just get my permanent um, driver's license card finally, because that allowed me to start driving by myself. Also, on the speaking of licensing, uh, the LSRM course, the Light Sport Repairman's course, is coming up very shortly here on September 27th. Um, my mom and I are flying out to Corning, California to, um, so I can go attend that course. It'll be a 15-day course held by Rainbow Aviation. That should be a, that'll be a really, really neat experience. Of course, you guys can expect a video from me on that, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share this video. 
uh, yeah, I'm coming out with updates here pretty soon again on uh, what comes next, so you don't wanna miss that. And check out the links in the description below if you wanna become a patron. Patreon patrons get early updates to things like this before they happen, so go ahead and check that out in the link below if you want to support building Kitbox and Thousand. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.